Canva flyer tutorial how to create a flyer on Canva. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create a flyer on Canva. So let's get into it. Now, to get started, you can just go ahead, log on to your Canva account, and search for flyer. Now, this will give you a bunch of different templates for different types of flyers. You might want to create a digital flyer, a printable flyer, you might want to create a sale flyer or just a general flyer to promote your business. So you can really find a flyer for everything. We might have advertising flyers, so a bunch of different types of flyers are available and you can choose the one that you prefer. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can build one from scratch because customizing a template can sometimes be a bit redundant and if you are customizing a template, I don't think there's anything bad in that. I think it's a good idea because why build something when you have a pre-existing template that can help you in getting started. So I would say that you should customize a template, but if you want to get started from scratch, I will show you guys exactly how. So I like these kinds of templates, so I want to build something along these lines. So I'm just going to open this in a new tab. And I'm just going to open up a blank canvas. Now, the first thing I'm going to do with this blank canvas is add a background. So I'm going to click on elements on the left panel over here and search for background over here. And then you can go into graphics or photos, whichever one you prefer. And then you can start adding a background. Now, you don't want to add something that has too much detail to it because it's a background at the end of the day. You don't want it to become the focal point of your flyer, but it's all right if it has, you know, certain creative elements to it. So I'm going to be using this in the background, this little rainbow, and you can customize this to your brand colors as well. If you want a more individualized appearance as well, I think I'm going to keep it at no rotation over here like this. So. I'm going to go with this one over here and then for the rest of my particular background. So other than this, I'm going to click on the canvas itself and then the canvas itself. I'm probably going to make this like a pink color and I'm going to convert the entire rainbow into a pink color as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the yellows so i'm going to go with pink one darker pink and then i'm going to select the second color it's slightly darker than the first one as well i'm going to make these a bit warmer because i don't like a cool pink i like super warm pinks like this and then going into our third color like so and then our fourth one as well like so now that I have created, you know, a nice little background, I'm going to click on elements on the left panel and then I'm going to search for a frame. Now, I like to just click on the lock icon to make it easier for me to navigate. Now, once I have done that, I can use any type of frame that I want. Now, I want to make this a printable frame, you know, a printable flyer. So the frame that I'm going to be using is just a circular frame because it just catches your eye. So we're just going to zoom in a little on this and I'm just going to be using this over here. And this should be, you know, covering not more than half of your page diagonally. And then once I do that, I can insert the services that I am providing. Let's say I provide uh, manicures and acrylic nails and stuff like that. So I'm just going to take an image of nails from over here like this i'm just going to place that and then i'm going to click on elements and then i'm going to go into text directly and just add a title text calling let's say bookings available like this and then i'm going to place this right to the side of our image over here now you guys can see the visibility on this is pretty low so you can choose to make it in thicker font but what I usually like to do is to actually add 
a simple background to this first i'm going to choose the nice little font first like this one yeah this looks pretty nice and then i'm going to go into elements then click on shapes and just add a square shape and then just place it behind this over here and go into the transparency and make it pretty transparent and then change the color to white like this so this makes your text pretty available and visible now moving on i might want to include the services and then maybe the social handles or how people can book me so i'm going to move this a little to make it on like an even plane with the image itself so i'm just going to be moving the box a little like this and now i am going to go into the shape section and then just taking one of these rounded squares i'm just going to build like a little bar over here at the bottom where people can book me so i'm just going to add these and then i'm going to do command c command v and from here i am going to change the color of all three of these so i might want to introduce a contrasting color I'm going to put these in blue and then I'm going to select all of these together once more and then click on the right and then we're going to click on align or space evenly and just click on tidy up and now I can just move them all together over here and go into elements and then search for maybe Instagram and then I'm just going to be using the Instagram logo like this one over here insert that over here and then I can enter my Instagram, whatever that might be, at nail salon, like this, and insert that into the blog. Next, I might want to provide my phone number. So just search for phone in elements. And taking this phone icon, I'm going to be placing that over here as well. I'm just going to include a number. And then, you know, whatever is your third way that people can book you, you can enter that. And then uh, you can also enter your services somewhere right below your booking section. And you can also just write a little bit of text that to book contact us here. So in this way, you can get started with building your flyers on Canva. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.